Are you in lack, stuck in limited thinking, anxiety, or you just feel stuck in general, just don't know what to do? Well, today we're gonna talk about one word. <laughs> what I know is, is that if you just start with your breath and start being grateful for that, the one thing that you are grateful for increases the energy of gratitude. Having an appreciation for what's around you and what you already have, you'll mm -hmm. learn to be creative. Right. Like I feel the difference in my day and how my day goes. Yeah. Also being able to track those things to you. We're gonna talk about one word that can help you on your journey of success and wealth. That one word is gratitude. Yeah. Talk about the power of gratitude, man. I wanna play a clip real quick from somebody who's credible. Uh, not saying that we're not credible, but this person is really credible. And uh, here it goes. When you think you don't have anything, I always say go back to your breath. And what I know is, is that if you just start with your breath and start being grateful for that, it's thinking about what you have versus what you don't have and focusing on the one thing that you are grateful for increases the energy of gratitude and rises just a little bit the joy inside yourself just a little bit if you can get you can just get to one good feeling one good feeling helps build on another good feeling and another good feeling just the idea of, of saying i'm grateful for my breath i am grateful that i was able to get up and walk on both legs this morning and really feel that really feel that i am grateful that i'm able to use my hands i i think about monica george every time i go to reach for something monica george who was the mother who was on our show who gone into the hospital to have her second child and contracted a disease and had to have both her arms and both her legs cut off she said get me out of here so i can get home and take care of my babies. We salute you for the light that you bring. Starting with what you have and what you can do versus what you can't, focusing on the three dollars in your wallet will bring you five dollars sooner than focusing on the fifty dollars you don't have. So if you allow yourself to get to the space of a good feeling, I don't care what that good feeling is, a good feeling increases more good feeling. In the same way that being in a bad situation and focusing on the bad situation continues to make you feel worse. First thing I do when I get up in the morning is read some kind of spiritual material. I read some kind of spiritual enlightenment. So I start my day with something that is going to put me in a positive frame of mind so that I begin attracting to me positive energy. So what this means that you watch this right now, it means you've opened up just a little channel of energy to allow some joy to rise in yourself. Boom. <laughs> Boom. We are Be More To Do More, where we help you yeah. become the person you need to become to do things. You call it Do Your Boy Tone in the building. And Henry Allen Harton. All right, brother. The third. Don't forget the three. All right, man. So gratitude, man. How has gratitude changed your life? Or Oof. what has gratitude done for you? Um, a lot, man. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, man. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I never really, I never really, um, like growing up, never really learned about gratitude, really. Right. Or you know, you, you know, your parents tell you be thankful for what you got, you know, right. type thing. Right. But not like, not like a principal type of type mm -hmm. of situation. And um, I think when I got into network marketing and and I learned the phrase. You know, I am so happy and grateful now mm. that I whatever, right? That sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you might can find that somewhere. Maybe. <laughs> maybe in some kind of journal or something. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I think I, and I, that's when that's when my, my world started to open up a little bit more. Okay. Um, because I was able to, kind of like the video said, right? Like I was able to, to focus on what I like wanted versus mm. what I necessarily had. Mm. And I was able to really be able to see every day live in it every mm. single day without, you know, feeling like I didn't have it, if that makes sense. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. 
I mean, man, my situ my situation is is similar, mm -hmm. but I didn't catch gratitude. You know, you hear about it, you can hear about it, you can even know it, know what it is. You know, you can teach other people, but to live it is right. something different. And I learned this. I think when um, I mentioned the story before, when Chrisanne was pregnant, um, you know, I was freelancing with videography and you know making money here and there, but uh, she didn't have a easy pregnancy so she had to go to the doctor so I had to miss a lot of gigs mm -hmm. and I, I got into this like state of anxiety and I was like man I need to do this 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 I ain't got this 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 and just one day you know the Lord just placed on my heart to yo be thankful for what you have mm -hmm. but I need to no <laughs> be thankful for what you have but I gotta be thankful for what you have mm -hmm. and just practice in the state of mind just focusing on what I have has brought me so far from that time, like to now I'm not even doing video, uh, videography, uh, freelancing. Uh, we're a whole production company now. Right. Studio, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. like, um, oh, we're at your house, by the way. We're usually at the studio, <laughs> but you know, they be like, what studio? <laughs> nah, I'll just, you know, just go to the previous episodes, you'll see. So like, it, it brought me so far within a year and a half, just practicing gratitude. Even this episode, man, like I, had some things missing, but you know, just having a state of gratitude and just appreciating everything that God is placing you in, in your surroundings, you can, you know, kind of put things together. So yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I think, I think uh, another thing just kind of helps me. Like, I already, know, I already know it's gonna work out. Yeah, right. Like, like, I don't, I don't, I don't stress about like this or that because I just, I just know it's gonna happen. Right. Like, I just know that it's going. Like, I don't know how it's gonna happen. It don't really matter how it's gonna happen. To be honest with you, like it, it's, it's not, happen. it's not my job to know how right. it's gonna happen. Like, you know, that's up, that's up to God on how He, you know. But it is my job to speak it every day and like to to just do the work um, to, you know, to get it at mm. the end of the day. In my opinion, but so that so so what you're telling me is that gratitude takes some type of faith. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, 100 percent. Like, cause how how would you how would you like 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 you talked about right like. Like, no, don't worry about that. Like, right. like don't you know? Like that takes faith to not to not worry about what you clearly see, right? It like does. it's in front of you. Like, well, how am I gonna do that? Well, don't don't worry about. Like it just, yeah. It's, I mean, it's all faith, right? I mean, in my opinion, right? I think it's That's true. Like when you look at the spirit of gratitude, you have to be, you have to have some type of hope that something <laughs> like that, yeah, in the future is gonna happen. It's gonna happen for you. So right, right. So so. Okay, let's get into what is gratitude. Let's, let's mm -hmm. talk about what is gratitude. Because we hear, you know, the attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. You know, we hear all these terminologies concerning gratitude. But what is gratitude? One of the definitions I have for gratitude is, let me get my notes here. You know, we taking notes now. Um, <laughs> it's the state of being grateful. Uh, appreciative of benefits received. Uh, thankfulness. Mm. So... It's the state of being grateful. So gratitude is actually a state of mind or a state of being. Mm -hmm. uh, like Oprah mentioned, like when you're in that state, you begin to see things much differently. You know what I mean? Yeah. And a lot, a lot of people might think this conversation is fluff, you know, mm -hmm. because, you know, it's not realistic to them because they've lived in the state of anxiety or lived in a state where they're not appreciative that when it comes to gratitude, it doesn't make sense, right. you know, but you see the world so much differently when you live in a state of mind, when you live in a state of gratitude. So I just wanted to give that definition of what gratitude is, but what gratitude is not. One of the definitions I have is Unappreciative, <laughs> being unappreciative. What does that look like, though? What does unappreciative look like? I mean, it it looks it looks, and here here's the thing. Sometimes it can be so subtle, mm -hmm. like you know, in our everyday lives, we may not even notice it. Like being unappreciative is, you know, how people say be content mm -hmm. is wanting things because you feel like you don't have it. Mm -hmm. or don't have them, you know, that's what, you know, um, being unappreciative is. Um, 
like one day I went to the store and I just told you this, I went to the store and I was like, you know, I, I left, I, I just got through washing the car. I came out and I didn't realize, you know, we waxed it, we saw some scratches mm. on the car. And I was like, man, we need a new car, <laughs> you know? Cause I saw a few scratches, yeah. but we drove everywhere in this car, man. Tennessee, uh, Florida, like it gotten us to numerous places and it's still in good condition. I'm like, yo, mm -hmm. why do you need another car? Like, just be appreciative for what you have. But it's those small, subtle things, you know, not saying that you shouldn't have wants, right. but it's the small, subtle things that you really have to pay attention to in our thinking and in our everyday life. Because what can happen is if we fall into a state of being unappreciative, mm -hmm. then we fall into not the state of unappreciative, but we fall into a state of lack. Because mm -hmm. what you're saying is that I don't have, I want, so therefore I lack. So therefore you're not being appreciative for what you have. And if you think about lack and what lack is, if you think about poverty, that's all it is. It's a right. mindset of lack. Um, I think it's Tony Robbins, he, he called it uh, the scarcity mindset, mm. you know, like if you hear these gurus or whatever, you know, he, he don't like to call himself a guru, but if you hear these people talk, some of the things are biblical principles, you know, mm -hmm. because I got majority of my thinking on gratitude from Bible. Right. And he's talking about the mindset of scarcity, thinking that you don't have, but you don't have because you don't have. <laughs> Wait, what? No. You don't have because you don't have. If I say I don't have this, I don't have it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, because I choose not to see the things that I do have because I'm focused on what I don't have. You know what I mean? It's kind of like how she was saying, like, um, you know, you wake up and you think about, you know, all these things you don't have, but what do you do? Have you have your breath? Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. And what, what hit me, man, hit me, you know, and I didn't catch it to, you know, just now when she said, if you have $3 in your pocket, mm -hmm. be appreciative for the $3 in your pocket because you will get $5 sooner than you would if you focus on the $50 that you don't have. <laughs> and just think about this, man. If we practice this every day, mm -hmm. you know, think about how much would accumulate right. in our lives, not just financially, but, you know, in relationships. Mm -hmm. And I can do better with that, you know in relationships, like with my wife, being appreciative, just being open and just seeing her, you know, yeah. versus looking at this, looking at what she don't have, what we, what we don't got, what she ain't doing, what, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, sometimes we can get into yeah. that too. That's cute and all, right? Let's keep cute. Let's, let's play devil's advocate a little bit. Let's go. Right? Let's go. So, okay, what about, okay, so, all right, so focus on the $3. The th okay, focus on the $3 will bring you close to the $5. Mm -hmm. Um, versus, you know, the $50 that you don't have, right? Right. But what if you got a bill that you got to pay? <laughs> you got and, a bill that you... And, you know, and you need those $50. Like, why would I... Why would, like, those $5 don't help you, you know? Like, no. why would I? Why would I... Why would I be grateful for the $3 that I have to get $5 when my bill is $50 and it's going to get... Something's going to get cut off or whatever. Like, walk me... I just... I'm just trying to help understand what, like, what... That's a cute example. You know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Because, uh, the, I mean, if you, if you have a... If you're thinking about the value of gratitude, then you understand, okay, first of all, why are you behind $50? Mm -hmm. What got you there in the first place? Dang. You know what I mean? Okay. So we got to go there first. But then, you know, if, hey, you know, we're just finding out what gratitude is, okay, when is the $50 due? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you have to be appreciative like to what you got. Sometimes we look at, we even look at our skill sets and we say, I don't have it, but we have, God has given us abilities to create $50, mm -hmm. you know? But sometimes we focus on, by comparison, looking at other people and what they got and what they can do. We miss out on the opportunities that God has given us because we don't look at these skill sets that he's given us to create income. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So there are some things, even if you look at business, right? Business is all about value. Right. You know what I mean? If you right. think about it, if people 
you're trading money for some type of value. Mm -hmm. So your services is worth this money because your services are valued at this particular price or whatever. Right. If I have a, a skill set and I appreciate my skill set, there's somebody out there who's going to value my skill set too and who's willing to pay for my skill set. Mm. Whatever it is, you know, uh, digital create, uh, content creation, uh, fixing a door in a house. You know, it's, it's some, some things out here that we are really capable of doing, but we put, you know, in a garbage can because we're looking at the next man, hey, he's doing this, I can't do that, so therefore I can't make no money. Mm -hmm. Therefore I can't pay no bills. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's, we can go, man, gratitude is, it's, it's a rabbit hole, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why I just really decided to practice the lifestyle because I want to see I want to see what's down in that tunnel. Mm -hmm. I want to see what down, what's down in that hole, you know, mm -hmm. and where it's going to take me. And thus far, man, within a year and a half, again, it's brought me so far, you know, um, it, it's crazy. Right. Yeah. Did that answer your question? That was yeah, awesome. it did. It did. I mean, because I think, I think I guess the reality of it is, by focus, you still ain't gonna have a fifty dollars by the time you need it, and then it's but it but but you really gotta examine why why you're in that position in the first place, mm -hmm. and if you were in the spirit of gratitude in the first place, you wouldn't be in this spot, you know, right. typically, right? And, right. Um, and I think um, the other part of that um, as well is just understanding that. Actually, I don't know how I'm going with that one, but you cut it out. But, but no, no, no. I mean, I, I, it's crazy. I thought about something, too. Like, even if you, you know, with skill set, like, you might got something in your house that's $50 that you're unappreciating right now. Oh. And you can go sell it. Yeah. Bro, I, I sold a lot of camera gear made, like. <laughs> <laughs> man, I needed money for, like, you know, like, I was like, man, let's, what I got around here? Yeah. You know what I mean? And, you know, just just having a, an appreciation for what's around you and what you already have. And mm -hmm. You'll learn to be creative. That's real. Um, you know, one, one of the things that, because I, when I look at, um, you know, what is what is gratitude, right? Mm -hmm. um, I guess one of the things that, that uh, I realized that helped me too is, and she kind of talked about it, right? Waking up being positive or waking up kind of listening to something um, I think she says, wake up, like she'll listen to something spiritual. Right. Yeah. But basically, like you got to put the positive inside of your inside of your um, mind from, you know, day one. I mean, not day one, minute one. Yeah. When you True. wake up. True. Um, I, I I think that's it's weird, man, because like, you know, you start you you start to adapt things, you start to do things that you don't realize that mm. like it's such a habit for me. Like I feel weird. Right. If I wake up, I can feel a difference in my day. If I wake up and I'm listening to music. Or if I wake up and I'm listening to something that's like motivational, right, right, like I feel the difference in my day and how my day goes, yeah, because I like it's all been able, also been able to track those things to you, that's and, true, and you know, and I was really introduced to that by like you know the secret. <laughs> I don't know if you I don't know if um, I saw I saw some of the um, some of the documentary man, but I didn't see. I didn't see the whole thing. I keep falling asleep on it, bro. Yeah, I mean it's long. Yeah, it's long. It's, I mean, you know, for <laughs> but it's some good gems. In yeah, there. I mean, dude, like it's. It, I mean, it walks you through how to, you know, how to be successful in relationships, how to be successful in your career, how to be successful in your personal life. Like, mm -hmm. it's so many different different factors that it kind of that it kind of goes through. Um, but yeah, man, it's and it, it changed it changed my world because I I remember being, all right, dang, how I'm gonna get this money? Like, how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna do this? How I'm gonna do that? But then once I once I understood my vibrations mm -hmm. and what you know what I'm what I'm feeling is putting it out, so I just need to change my feelings and it's gonna real. change my results. That's real. So it's pretty cool. I want I want to get into vibrations and feelings and all that too, um, because it's all scripture. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like if you look at it's like God leaves clues in in, in Bible. You just got to be patient enough to, to, to get it, man, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but going into lack, though, you know, if you think about, like, what gratitude is not, which is lack, 
if you look at the state of different type of communities, then you understand what black is and how it relates to appreciation. Because if you go into a certain neighborhood, you'll see that there are people who don't value their neighborhood, mm -hmm. don't value or appreciate, you know, each other, don't appreciate themselves. Right. And you'll begin to see different activities that is that derives from that mindset. You know what I mean? And it, it's sad, man, but it's true because at the end of the day, God has given us everything that we need. And yeah, he has already provided. But we choose to take things. I want to say the, the, the short route mm -hmm. because we feel like, okay, so I feel like I don't have this, so I want to take it from you. Mm -hmm. You know, even if joy, I don't have joy, so I want to steal yours. I don't have a wallet, so I won't take yours. Right. You know, and we start to see this band or it's just so many like distinct like sites around lack, man. If you just it, it's crazy, bro. Like so that's what gratitude is not. Um and if, even if you look at Bible, the Bible says that uh the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you look in, in these communities, it's theft, it's stealing, it's killing, and it's destroying, you know, mm -hmm. destruction. But then Jesus came back and said, but I came to give you life that more abundant. Right. Abundance. Like, it's crazy, man, because gratitude equals abundance in so many ways, but I'm gonna get into that too. But I just want to talk about the state of ch a church. We, the state of a lot of churches, are or have a poverty mindset, not a poverty, but a scarcity mindset. Or, you know, because they look at big churches and say they must be doing something wrong. You know what I mean? Oh, they ain't got, they ain't got God in that church. They talk, they take money from those people, right? But if you think about it, four thousand churches. For according to pure space, uh, not a pew, not pure space, pew. I think it's pure research. Four thousand churches start every year, but only a thousand left standing the next year. Oh, really? Yeah. And let's not get into the percentages of mega churches. They, you can count on two hands like how many mega churches. But if you think about, and, but if you go down the street, there's a church on every corner. But we all focus on the church. We say they're doing something wrong. But yet yeah, we're struggling. Why is it? You know what I, mean? I would I would even dare to say that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe I, maybe this is a hot take, but I would even dare to say that the mega churches are doing more right, more right than the smaller churches sometimes, yeah. you know? Because I mean you think about think about it, man. Like, and I and and this so like when I when I first moved to Warner Robins, um, started going to this this church uh, called Hope Church, right? Okay. And it's a quote unquote mega church um, in Warner Robins, technically from Fort Valley, but you know, yeah. but um, <laughs> you know, but um, and you know, you get you get the perception of oh, this big church, oh, oh you know, pastor drives around in this or whatever it is, right? Mm -hmm. But the reality of it though, man, is like, is they also have this you know huge. Um, like foundation and they give away it's called like feed the city and they give away like hundreds or maybe thousands of turkeys yeah. and like Thanksgiving stuff every single year right and they obviously do stuff throughout the year too but like that's like the big the big drive is like that and like you just think about like that one drive that they do mm -hmm. has a bigger effect on the community than those people there you know what I'm saying like so it's just you know it's just it's just you know like I get it. I understand like why I understand why people say that because just it's you know they have a, they have an unhealthy uh, relationship with money. Um, that's what it is. Lack. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. um, when you ain't got none, that's all you focus on. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What I mean? Like and it's because it's almost like it's almost one of those things where it's like, man, how did how they get? Because I'm serving God. How how they get? That's this, what it you is. know. And I don't have like I don't have like I'm doing what they, it's it's impossible. Like they they, they can't think that. It's weird, bro. Like, but they can't think that they're doing they're doing the same thing. The signs of getting rich. They can't, they, they can't understand that they're doing the same thing. This um, you know, the same city, trying to reach the same people, and right. this other place has 
much better results than they have, but it's because it's how they do it, right? And it's the way that they do it. Right. And that's the thing that like, you have to understand is it's not about, it's not about, and especially the spirit of gratitude, right? It's not even about being grateful. Mm -hmm. It's how you're being grateful as well. That's true. Because you're not doing, if you're doing, if you're being, if you're saying affirmations in a like resisting, resistant type of way, Right. It's not gonna work for like you. Chanting. Like, yeah. Uh, well no, like 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 it's okay, I gotta okay, I get up. Man. Pastor told me I gotta read the, read these affirmations. Let me read these affirmations. They ain't gonna work, but mm -hmm. I, I gotta do it. You a paper chaser. You got your block on fire, you <laughs> <enemy was good. laughs> <laughs> like you um, reading it, but you ain't got no spirit behind it, right? Right. You gotta have right. your people chance. You got your like yeah. you got like you gotta have the right spirit. That's true. When you when you saying these affirmations, right? And right. And um Because and, it's a mindset. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's it's a state. Yeah. Like you cannot you can't say Alabama is a state. You can't say I've been to Alabama and never been. <laughs> it just don't work. You know, if you gotta go into the state, you feel me? Right. Yeah, man. So Oh, that's what you got on that. That's, that, well, that I mean, I, I, that's the church piece. I just, I just wanted to kind of. You know what? It, you, you know, know what it reminds me of? Oh, uh, kick the table. It reminds me of uh, our wedding the devil. Mm -hmm. He was talking about it. He said, "I mean, think about it. If you think about the state of church, it's like they all." Myron go to say this so much. I keep referring back to him, man, because what he say just resonates. And he was like, "People talk about prosperity gospel." He was like, "It's in the Bible." <laughs> <laughs> the good news when I mean it's it's biblical mm -hmm. I came that you may have life and that more abundantly again when people are, when they don't have money all they see is money mm -hmm. if they don't have it you must be doing this because you got it you know what I mean right. you're serving the devil because you got it and you <laughs> <laughs> and, and when you think about it the Bible says give so it should be given like some people, a lot of people out here got it because they have the capacity to give. They're not stingy. Right. You know what I mean? Right. They have that capacity to give. So guys don't turn that faucet on. You know what I mean? Because it's not about the money. It's about adding value. And when you have a gratitude, a state of gratitude, yep. ad the attitude of gratitude, it's about value. Yep. Think about what appreciate me. In real estate. When a house appreciates, what happens? It goes up in value. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So when you appreciate Walmart. I'm a thing here, but it's Walmart. So when you have a when you have gratitude, when you appreciate something, it goes up in value. Mm -hmm. And like you say, it produces this vibrational I don't know how they be saying it, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna just say it how I get it from scripture. God <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> Because God is, God is, God is abundance. You know, that's just who he is. I can't even give life that more abundance. When you have that mindset, it's like y'all saying, I, 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 you know what I mean? Oh, it's just like me. Turn that faucet on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, man. But I did mention I wouldn't the devil, but I, I, I don't think I got it. I just started going off, man. <laughs> you good. Yeah. You good. I, and, and it's why this is Lisa taught there for the week. <laughs> There go the week, man. What we got? Comes from Lil Wayne. Let's go. Um, he says, I've been working hard for no prize, but I'm still grateful for the so pride. And I think instead of hating on folks, really, like like sometimes like when you when you don't have what you what you're looking for, like don't don't hail somebody else, right? Like, because you don't have the the "Quote unquote monetary payout right. that you feel like you should have, right? No, like be be grateful for what you have, right? And and take pride in what you have right now because that's the only way that's going to multiply to more. That's true. Is really being yeah. grateful right now. Yes, yes, and appreciate the other person for you know stepping up nice. Because again, man, I think it's all perspective, right? If God if God exposed this to you. That means it's for you. Yep. But if you hate on the hype, how, how you gonna have it if you hate on Yep. You know what I mean? Like, if you see somebody in your circle getting blessed, that's when you appreciate the blessing that person is getting because you know you're next. You know how they say that. Yeah. But the reason being because you understand 
what appreciation does and what it what it is. Mm-hmm. You know understand what gratitude is. This person's been blessed. Hey man, like I'm happy for you. Tell me about it. How you know you getting tipped now? You now now even the relationship you have with that person is high in value. You know what I mean? Because now they see you're happy for them. And it, it's crazy, man. Like it can it can go so many ways, man. Mm-hmm. You know, it's gratitude. Um, going back to my notes because we got notes now. <laughs> okay, does this mean we shouldn't grow? or desire things? Hmm. I know my answer is. <laughs> What's know. your answer? I mean, I think you always have to desire things. I think you always have to grow. It's just like, what? Like if you don't, I mean, I get it. You want to be, you know, you you, you don't want to be again anxious yeah. uh, for what you don't have or what you're trying to accomplish. But right. at the same time, like, I also feel like, especially all my doobies out there, right? Because y'all, you know, you, Y'all got big goals, big dreams. How will you ever accomplish those if you never come up with them? That's true. That's true. In my opinion. That's true. Um, Apostle Paul said, what, as we press towards the mark, if you look at what goals is, you remember I asked you in the car, I was like, bro, you know what goals are? Like the <laughs> definition, like it clicked. You know what right. I mean? Like, right. I know we mentioned, I know sometimes we say, my goal is to make a million dollars, right? Okay. (laughs) (laughs) It may be a dream, right? But how do we make these goals? Mm -hmm. A million dollars can be a mark in your business. You know, like, how do you, what is your mark and how, like, it's your destination, Mm -hmm. you know? And, you know, you can plan your way to your destination, you know, but we all know what the Bible said about plans. You know, God, he's the ultimate planner, pretty much. Mm -hmm. You may have to maneuver, but, your mark, your your goal should be your mark. This is my aim. You can't be out there not aiming, fellas. You know, uh, <laughs> it's it's the, it's your aim, man. It's it's what you're aiming to. So yeah, I do believe that you know you can have desire, you can have goals, but again, like we mentioned, and, and it was key. And you said it so smooth that we kind of just went over it. Mm-hmm. But you said that just don't be anxious about it. Because when you get in the state of anxiousness, what you're saying is that I don't have, I'm not there yet. Mm-hmm. No, be appreciative mm-hmm. for what you have and use what you have to get to your mark. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. So, you gotta have the right vibrational frequency. Yeah. You, got, you have to have the right vibrational frequency. Otherwise, it, ain't, it just ain't gonna work. Right. You're saying, well, you be pissed off at everybody because, oh, this is what they told me to do. But yeah, we you did what we that's and it's why like we like they, even this even this episode, right? Like mm-hmm. we're not focused on the how. No. Because the, the how doesn't matter. Right. Right? Like, um, because like I could tell you I could tell you to do step one, step two, step three, step four on how to whatever, right? Mm-hmm. But the reality of it is if you don't do it in the right space mentally, you know, emotionally, really, then it's just you know, you're just doing it for no reason at that point. You gotta have the right vibrational, you know, the right state, you know, the right. See, all these things, all these things are more spiritual. Oh, 100%. Spiritual. Yeah, 100%. And to see, that's why I use Oprah, man, because Oprah, I, I think she's Christian, bro. I want, I want to claim it, bro. I want to claim it. Some of the stuff she was saying, I, I said she had a little bit of it too. I don't know, like, man. You probably, you know, huh? Just, yeah, man, you know, we out here. <laughs> I guess that's what Christian Christianity is. <laughs> well, you really understand scripture. You know what I mean? I guess that's what it is. And when you're not drifting, you're Illuminati now, man. But nah, man, um, she be putting out a lot of cute stuff, man. And mm-hmm. there's a lot of spiritual principles. Um, but the verse that got me going towards this, uh, this um, gratitude, state of gratitude, going through this state of gratitude journey is, um, Matthew chapter 25, and I want to pull it up here, man. Uh, I want to say the 25th verse. Nope, it's not that. Okay. Okay. But everyone, and this is Matthew's 25, Matthew, Matthew 25, 29. But to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will have abundance. Mm-hmm. 
y'all prosperity, whatever. But from him who does not have, even what he will have, no, even what he has will be taken away. So, so I'll go back to that fifty dollar example. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it'd be taken away. So, like, what got me here? I was reading it. I said, "Well, it made this make sense." You said, "But from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away." How can somebody not have but have something like? <laughs> right. But you know, God, he had to tell me. No, this is listen to what I'm saying. It's a state of mind. He that does not have, I don't have this. I ain't got that. So I can't do this. Can't do that. You know. Don't see me on Friday. You're, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna take away what you do have because you're missing the opportunities in front of you. You're missing Dang. what he's giving you already. Dang. You know. You know, every time you tell God no, like you're really like pushing yourself like back, like putting yourself like you have to real like anytime like God's telling you to do something or or he's like kind of probably you like you're really putting yourself in a bad situation when you don't listen to that voice. Yeah. So I don't know if that's I don't know just, when you when you when you when you talked about like okay I don't have this I don't have that like sometimes man you you get those those thoughts that okay well what if I did this my man ain't gonna work you yeah. don't even know you ain't even try right right, right. Like somebody it's like somebody you you're literally going to vent to somebody about your situation mm -hmm. and they're telling you what to do or what you could do. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that. Like, that's oh crazy. God. You sound like a true coach. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy though, man. But that's, you know, you put yourself in a worse spot. Yeah, man. Well, I'm assuming because they're not in the state of gratitude. They don't mm -hmm. appreciate the wisdom you're giving them. You know, they don't even value themselves. I think God is giving up. So, you know, how can they? But that comes, you know, from like and all that. But for me, I believe that me taking the oath to this journey of gratitude, some of those flaws are easily pointed out within myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I have to catch myself sometimes. Nah, I ain't got, oh, you know what? I appreciate what I got. Or even, I didn't even go to the scripture. Um, uh, Philippians 4, 6 through 7. I guess we get two scriptures. I like it, man. Uh, it's a uh, scripture of the week. Yeah, it says, be anxious for nothing. See, even when we talk about anxiety, it says, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, it didn't say only prayer and supplication. It said, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And if you look that up, it means gratitude. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, let no, look it up in Greek. Huh? No means certain. Man, you know, <laughs> that's that's the initial thought that comes along. Oh, mac and cheese and green, you know. Yeah, man. That's, I can't. Thanksgiving around the corner, by the way. <laughs> anyway, um, with Thanksgiving, let your request, let your request be made known to God, and then peace, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your minds through Jesus Christ. So, if you're going through any anxiety, I have a few gratitude tips. What you should do is just go outside and just, you said this one day on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should put this somewhere here. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> you said, do me a favor, go outside. You said my father took seven, seven uh, six days to create, you know, just whatever. Just go outside and just be one with nature. Look at the trees and just really be present. And be thankful for everything around you. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you're going to have peace and the peace. And this passes your understanding. You may not know how you got that peace, but it's going to come, you know? And that's the beginning of the state of gratitude, just mm -hmm. having peace within yourself, being whole and calm within yourself.